Hello everyone, this is Reza. In this video, we are going to master the AVL3 um, data structure, one of the core data structures in the trees. And I hope that by watching this video, you will master this uh, data structure and you can use it in real life. Uh, before watching this video, you need to also watch the binary tree search algorithm because we are going to use that algorithm to uh, searching or deleting or insertion in the AVL3 data structure. Let me share my screen. And let's <clears throat> start to uh, master the high level concept. First of all, uh, the AVL3 APL data structure is a self balancing binary search tree. And it's named after the Adelson, Wilski, and Landis. That's why its name is AVL because it is the short uh, term of its name, the real inventor. And this tree can balance itself to not become unbalance because uh, if you do not uh, balance the or self balance the tree and just uh, create a simple tree you will have something like linked list and that's not good and that will uh, be very ridiculous to use uh, the tree data structure when your structure is like a tree is like a linked list and you will lose the uh, all log n time complexity in the end, and that will be uh, not logical to uh, use that tree for that case. And uh, how the, how does this work? Every node in the tree will have the self-balance of minus one, zero, and one. If it's two or minus two, um, we need to self-balance it. And the balance factor is the uh, height, low, height of a left subtree uh, minus height subtract the height of right subtree. And for self balancing, we will have two operations left rotation, LL, right rotation, RR, left right rotation. First, we will have left rotation and then right rotation. And the last one is right rotation and then left rotation. <clears throat> for for insertion, we will first uh, use the BST insertion and then update the height of the ancestor. Uh, and, that, and we will check the balance factor of every number. I will explain it all in the code, but we will just mention that we are what we are going to do to have a clear uh, map in this video. In this video will be very long, and that's why we um first uh, explain the high level concept, and then we will go to low level and understand every step by the code, not just in the uh, words. And and in the last step, you will apply appropriate rotation to self-balance the tree. Uh, after each in the insertion, the height of the affected nodes will be updated and the balance factor is uh, checked for every node. If it's on balance is two or minus one, or sorry, minus two will be balanced by the help of different method. And for the deletion, we will have the same steps. We will have the deletion uh, method from the BSD. And uh, as you can see, we will update the ancestor nodes and we will balance three on every deletion. In general, in, after every operation, we will uh, self balance the tree. The only feature of this data structure, which makes it different to other tree data structure is the self-balancing because it will uh, maintain the, uh, the maintain the uh, all again time complexity for searching and deleting and insertion. Now we will uh, first uh, have some uh, look through the, some pictures that I have created. We, we, we have right now something like a linked list. 
and it is not good because it, the dump complexity will be o, 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 big O n, and we have to make it like a three, and we will do left rotation. And as you can see, we will do the left rotation on the twenty node. Sorry, on the ten node, and it will become the left sub three, left child of the twenty. On the let me first uh, work on the right rotation and then in here we will uh, work on the right rotation and uh, we will just um, push the 10 to become the right child of the 20 but I think it's here it's uh, wrong but that's not a problem I have already uh, mastered here if you can see we have uh, we have here the insertion. Mm. This is the right rotation. In the right rotation, you will just uh, move the places of the nodes and you will finish the algorithm. Uh, the insertion method is like this. You will add 10 and then 20 and then 30, and then you will uh, do self-balancing because on the 10, uh, it is minus two and you will perform left rotation and you will uh, push uh, move it to the left child of 220. And also we have here uh, 40 and then 50, and you can see here you um, <clears throat> the balance factor of uh, 30 is minus 2, like before, and you will uh, do a left rotation on 30, and 40 will become the root of the uh, 30 and 50. And that's it. And this is the right rotation. And you can see here, you will, you, uh, you will uh, perform a first a right rotation, uh, and then a left rotation. It is the right left rotation. And yes, that's it for the high level explanation. This is the last one. We have here a uh, right heavy uh, and left child heavy for 30. So we have to first uh, do the right rotation on the right, uh, on the right child. And then, I mean, on the uh, 20 and then the uh, left rotation on the 10 and we have something like here we need to first perform the left, left rotation and then right rotation so let's go to the code in the code we have two or three uh, three uh, important methods first one is insertion Second one is pre-order, which for insertion is, is obvious. It is for inserting the nodes in the tree. The pre-order is to printing every node and the deletion is uh, accomplished through delete. And we will use pre-order to check that if everything works well or not. I will first explain the evil tree itself. Evil tree we will, uh, will be consists of nodes and every node will have a key and a height. Uh, and also every avl tree has a root, which is the uh, the architecture or map of the all the nodes together. And also we will use the height uh, in that will uh, height method or utility height utility function to return the height. And also we will use max for comparing two values, the left and right of the tree. And uh, And the right rotation is obvious. You will just need to, um, you need to just get the left rotate, left uh, child and then right child, and then change the uh, right child with the new node and also uh, put the right child as left of the new node. And also you need to update the height of the, every child by an X and then return the new root here. 
left rotation is like this. We will first uh, store the right child and then left child, and then you, you will just put the new node as the or the notepad that that we are going to rotate it as the left child and the left child of the uh, the right node the the right the right child and then put the and you will put the left child of the uh, right node right node as the right child of the rotation node and you will update the tree the height for getting balance you will just need to uh, subtract the left child uh, with uh, right child is after left and right uh, in the insertion we will use the insertion node and you we will have key and node in here i will explain step by step how it's going on first if we the tree is empty we will it that is the best question scenario we will just return the new node if it's not we will insertion we will insert the node in the left child or in in the right child if is if is the node a or the key is bigger than the uh, no uh, bigger than the node we will insert in the right node and we will do it recursively and then return the Oh, uh, and then we will continue to self plant the tree, and also we will update the root by just one number because we will uh, get the max of the node left or right shell or right, and then add it by one. And for get balance, I will uh, we will. Uh, just use the get balance method. Let me show you how it's going on. The get the get balance is just uh, comparing the left height with the right height to to find the get balance factor. And if the balance factor is bigger than one and the the key is smaller than the uh, the left child, we will use the, we will operate the right rotation. If it's not uh we will operate the left rotation In left rotations uh is like that if the balance is minus two and the key is bigger than the right uh, node we will do the left rotation and for the left right if the key if the balance is bigger than one and the key is bigger than the left child we will first uh, do the left rotation on the left child and then uh, uh, perform the right rotation and then expect it on the target of node. And for the right left, it's like the left right, but the difference is the balance factor is uh, smaller than the minus one, and the key is uh, smaller than the uh, right child. And we will perf perform the right rotation on the right child and then, and then also do the left rotation on the node. And in the end, we will return the new root. For the delete, we have uh, Phyllis first read the BST before going before watching this video, because the delete is the same. We will just have a new uh, step called uh, self balancing, and we will also get the balance of the root root because uh, uh, the balance will be different after you delete every node and uh, we will also check that it is is it bigger than one, zero uh, we will do the right rotation it's like the insertion but we will do the get balance because we don't have a key here we have to uh, check the left child or right child and for the right rotation the balance must be bigger than one and the balance factor must be bigger than the zero for the left child left child and uh, if the balance factor is bigger than one uh, get balance must be smaller than zero 
And yeah, I think it's not that we don't need to repeat it. Again, we have just another method to find the min minimum value in a, uh, in, in a subtree. And we will just check the left subtree because it's already sorted. And the left child or left subtree is always smaller than the root. And the pre-order is the same. Pre-order, we will just print the key and then left key and then uh, right child key and so on. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that this video uh, would give you uh, a great uh, start for uh, uh, knowing and understanding this algorithm and this data structure. Uh, later, we will use this data structure in the real world example because it has very use cases. For example, in database indexing and uh, for maps, many places you will use ABL3 because uh, the tree by itself is useful in many places, but uh, the mm, but the ABL tree will uh, have a better understanding, will better better performance in everything, and you will uh, you will have a better data structure because the tree is like a child compared to this uh, for the quantum complexity and that's it uh, i don't i don't want to explain uh, much more because I, I believe that you are already tired of the uh, code and uh, the explanations because it is very complicated i hope that this uh, video wouldn't have been uh, very boring because data search is already a boring uh, uh, subject because you have to always deal with some theories and you will not see it in the real world and for that case we will later implement the ABL in the real world example thank you very much see you in the next video